shape of a candle flame comes from a natural convection around it. Burning of wax increases the temperature of the gas above the flame to more than 1200 degrees Celsius. The hot gas has a smaller density compared with the cold gas around it. Therefore, it is pushed upward by the colder gas from the bottom. This flow driven by natural convection of gases around the flame causes the flame to stretch upward and dance beautifully. The flame is mainly seen yellow because of incomplete combustion of the carbon content of the wax due to limited oxygen access. Only the bottom of the flame might look blue because of a complete combustion due to a better access to fresh oxygen. In a microgravity or zero gravity environment such as at the International Space Station, the candle flame would not look the same as what you may see on the air. Because the gravitational forces are so weak, a natural convection around the flame does not form anymore. That's why the flame would look like a sphere. This is because mass transfer will dominantly occur by diffusion through the air in all directions around the wick. Also, in the absence of natural convection, a uniform distribution of heat is made around the wick due to thermal conduction in the air. This leads to a complete combustion of the carbon content which makes the flame glowing blue. I was curious to know what the flame looks like if you take the candle to other planets. If a spaceship takes the candle to the moon surface, I can imagine that the flame would look like this. Because the moon's gravity is about six times less than the air, the natural convection is expected to be weaker but still exists. So you may see a more blue bluish color around the wick and some yellow at the top. On the other hand, close to the Jupiter surface, the flame may look like this due to its higher gravity which is about 2.5 times greater than the air. This induces a stronger natural convection around the flame making it tall and narrow and probably glowing more in yellow. 